I will show you what Kathleen Kennedy's real job was for 30 years and why she was the wrong choice to run Lucasfilm. Kathleen Kennedy couldn't get the film crew off the island because martial law had been declared. Kathleen Kennedy is probably the most reviled person in Hollywood at the moment. It's just that as the CEO of Lucasfilm, she's the worst person at her job. There have been some questionable decisions and outright disasters. Obviously, with such a high profile, there has been a large cohort of fans demanding she be replaced with someone more capable. So far, that's mostly been online, YouTube channels, and social media. Then South Park got involved. Into the Panderverse did not pull back and placed most of the blame of Disney on her, even the parts she's not involved with, probably because she's an easy target and the best known. But that's not to say it's been unanimous. There are scores of other accounts that consistently praise her work and cite her 40 plus years in Hollywood working on some of the biggest blockbusters ever as proof that she is the most capable person around. Kathleen Kennedy started out as an assistant to Steven Spielberg and eventually worked her way up. She was an executive of production and ultimately credited as a producer on some of the biggest films and franchises of all time. So obviously, she's super talented and a natural choice for Lucasfilm. I mean, look at her credits. Producer on all these big films, am I right? So what is the truth? Well, a good part of the uncertainty comes from the very nature of Hollywood itself. Movies are a collaborative part where huge teams of people contribute to the final product. Sometimes no one can even remember where a particular line or moment originated. Was it written or improvised by the actor? Or maybe it was an alternate take the director wanted. People don't remember. Oftentimes a movie can have many producer and executive producer credits for all sorts of reasons. A lot of times those producers were just connected to the production company that made the picture. Other times they may have been way more involved. It's a broad credit without any specific meaning. So what did Kathleen Kennedy actually do? As it is, we actually have a first-hand account of her amazing producer work from Jurassic Park. You can decide yourself what it means. So the production was wrapping up in Hawaii where they shot all the external and outside shots. They were then going to move to Hollywood to shoot all the internal scenes. Except Mother Nature had something else in mind. A hurricane came up and struck the island. Since they were on one of the smaller islands, they were temporarily cut off from everything. Food and water had to be rationed. Everything looked bleak. But wait, when people remember this story about Jurassic Park, the mega blockbuster, the person they talk about? Kathleen Kennedy, she's a force of nature. I mean, she's quite scarily powerful. But Kathy Kennedy couldn't get the film crew off the island because martial law had been declared. Ah, you see, it was Kathleen Kennedy's job. Her time to shine, to get everyone off the island and back to L.A. It was looking like a big mess with the schedule and production would fall behind several days. On a big budget movie, every day lost could cost tens of thousands of dollars. But you see, Kennedy was on it. As it was, she ran into someone she knew who was flying in supplies for Hawaiian Airlines. She was able to work with him to get the cast and crew on the plane and off the island. See, watch for yourself. I will attempt to coordinate some transportation for everybody to get to the commercial air terminal. I will attempt to coordinate some transportation for everybody to get to the commercial air terminal. Ah, so there you go. Kathleen Kennedy, literally here in the heart of her job, talking about organizing and getting everyone off the island to the commercial airport so they can hop on a plane back to Los Angeles. That there was her job, the crux of it all. It's essentially production management, making sure the film stays on schedule, on budget, and under control. It's not a creative position and never was. She wasn't influencing the script or other matters. It was keeping the machine running so that others, namely Steven Spielberg, would be free to do their job. So yeah, that's the sort of thing producers do, and that's what she did. She was good at her job and obviously moved all the way up to running Lucasfilm. In a way, it makes sense. As the head of the studio, she can make sure the productions are run smoothly. Except the problem is the head of the studio has to do a lot more than that. You have to approve or not approve the scripts and story ideas. This is where it went downhill. So now we're left with South Park in the Panderstone. Obviously, it's as good as an explanation as any. 
the people out there who defend Kathleen Kennedy are mostly just unaware of what her actual job is. They invent the reasons in their head and then convince themselves it's all true. So that's the gist of it, a full detailed explanation, even if some of you don't really like it. This is sort of a different analysis than normal, but it helps all the same. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next watch party.